cherish my moments. Then if I may, will you let me cherish this moment with you? There's a difference. This is for personal memory. For me. <laughs> D. Okay. You are the one who deserves freedom. You have to survive. I don't think I could bear a world without you.
You would be asleep. Ah, uh, it's a murder mystery. It's pretty entertaining. Is everything okay? You're not feeling ill, are you? Show me. The world awaits. Did you make this? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve your love. Yet, I'm... I'm so incredibly happy. Mira, thank you. I will always treasure this. And I will always treasure you. This is a surprise. Forgive me, I was just coming to get a drink. I didn't mean to interrupt. However, if I didn't announce my presence, I feel like I would be a creep. <clears throat> Forgive us. We should have been aware of our surroundings. 
It happens to us all at some point in our lives. Kiddo, I do encourage you to limit the amount of strenuous encounters. Your heart doesn't need to be racing unnecessarily. She left in a flurry of embarrassment. I can't help but find it absolutely adorable. This is by far the best gift I have ever received. It's given me the strength and resolve to know what I want with my life. I've warned you and warned you not to fall for her, Nathan. What do you think you're doing? Do you not listen to any wise counsel? Interrupting us in such a way wasn't necessary. Wasn't necessary? You were a few seconds short of kissing that girl. Is that wrong? Yes, it is. You are an engaged man, with chains generations deep into the world of the Elite. You cannot have her, Nathan. What makes you so sure of that? She would never understand this world. She's too naive and trusting. If you bring her into this life, she will be trampled. Her innocence is lost on people like us. I will protect her. Protect her? Nathan, I fear that you would be the person doing the most damage. I know the reason for the footage, or at least the initial reason. Do you think she will want you after she knows the truth? I'm not sure. But regardless, I'm not going to let it happen. Not going to let it happen? I haven't given over all of the footage, and I refuse to do so. I'm going to make this right. I'm going to stop Wilton Industries from using her. You talk big for someone who has never stood up to your daddy. Well, there's a first time for everything. And now I have a reason to. And if she dies in surgery? She won't. You're lost in a fantasy, Nathan. You need to return to reality. I know what I'm doing. Are you okay? What are you feeling right now? Quick, get her to the bed. Are you having any tightness or pain?
The flight impacted her much worse this time around. Her heart is outside of her normal ranges. Should we take her to the hospital? No, there is nothing that they can do that I cannot do here. It means you need as much rest as you can get. I will allow you to go to the party tomorrow, but as your doctor, I cannot permit you to do anything else. The day after the party, we need to get her back to Wellston Memorial. I fear even if we wait three more days, she may not make it through the flight. The time before and after the party should give her body enough rest to make it. Go ahead and rest. morning. How are you feeling? We don't have to go to the party tonight. I thought you might say that. I called Philip. If you're feeling up to it, he will do your makeup. I know that you really seem to get along with him. Yes, you really seem to enjoy his company last time. Anything for you, my love. I'm afraid I have some matters to attend to, so I will be out for the morning. But I will return before our party tonight. I'm sorry for leaving you when you are not feeling well. I've never wanted to return so badly. I will call for Dr. Kleiner to watch you while I'm gone. I will be back soon.
The rest did seem to help. As long as you do not push your body, you should be able to go to the party and be okay for the flight the following day. Yes, your heart needs the least amount of strain possible. It's only temporary, until we get you to the hospital. I've already contacted Dr. Hartman and informed him of our situation so he's prepared in the event of... <laughs>